Ah, uh, here we go again, baby. Top of the morning to you, ladies. My name is Jack the guy, and welcome back to Subnauseous Below Zero. I said I wasn't going to do it. I said I was going to wait until the full game was out and play the entire thing then, but I can't wait anymore. I'm so... Every, people keep asking me to play more Subnautica Below Zero, and I really, really want to. So I'm sick of waiting. I can do whatever I want. I'm a big boy. All right, the king of Subnautica is back, baby. Um, I'm going to start over from the beginning, I think, because people... The deep dive update is something that people kept telling me a lot about. Came out like two months ago. Um, but people are also saying that stuff from even the very beginning of the game is slightly different. So I'm going to start over from the beginning. Why not? Let's let's do a new one. Let's... You know what? I don't even have a choice anymore. That's gone. Uh, let's do survival. Yes. Um, that and I just can't remember what I did. It's been months and months and months since I played Below Zero. So I can't remember where I am, what I'm doing, the characters' names, all that kind of stuff. So it's good for a refresher. I don't know when this game is fully going to come out. What the release date is actually planned as, I think it got pushed back and back. So, I'm just tired of waiting around. I just want to play more Subnautica. I love this series so, oh, so goddamn much. Oh, here we go. Unknown worlds, I love you guys. You're the best. Good morning! It's more sister, Sam. Repeat, immediate evacuation of Sector Zero to Space Station Vespa. Sam, what's happening? Did I- The meteor storm. There was interference. It's closer than they thought. Ah. How long? Maybe ten minutes. Jeff, do you read? I've been coded it. I translated the wake-up command. Your timing sucks. We're evacuating. <laughs> Jeff! His last GPS check-in was at the cave entrance. I'm going up there. Roger that. Don't stay any longer than you need to. Did they change the voice of the Robin character? Also, did I cancel her call like an idiot by mistake? God. Alright. Databank. Work docs. So I'm gonna- okay, we read all these things already, so... I wanna try and avoid reading all the same stuff again. It might be new information though, so I don't know. Why have you applied for this role? Everyone's talking about 4546B. Who hasn't applied? Maybe Jeff. No, he signed on last week. Why this assignment? The last time we found sentient alien life was Strader 6, 17 years ago. It's been fun, but frankly, I'm bored. And you have telepathic squid. I should tell you that rumors about spacefaring aliens on the planet are rumors. If that's why you're here, you'll be disappointed. I'm a xenolinguist. Spacefaring aliens are our holy grail. I want it, but I don't expect to get it. What qualifies you for this position? There are aliens out there you couldn't imagine, let alone understand. Do you know how I talk to them? I think you correlate responses against simulation or stimuli, and I do what they do. Feel what they feel. If they bathe in liquid nitrogen and talk about their feet, I put on a spacesuit and pull a handstand. But this recruitment process, this is more this is the most alien of all. But I'm trying to correlate my responses here. Smart, clever, clever girl. Okay. Hey, buddies! What's going on? Good to be back. How are you? Is this me? Damn, I'm thick! What up, little pingus? What's up? I'm gonna dominate this planet. Titan hole fish? Fuck yeah, gonna get oxygen out of your bad boy hole. Alright, I don't know what's different. This already feels different. Like, the... Most of it feels pretty similar, like the layout and all that kind of stuff and some of the dialogue, but this alarm blaring and the textures and everything are all better. Talking about the meteor storm and that space station feels a lot closer this time. Is that space station? I don't know, wait, are meteors actually landing? I just saw a smoke trail. Maybe I should get out there and see. Okay, can't go that way. What is this telling me? Remember- why does this look like it's all warped and weird? Remember information leading to ex activation of alien technologies is rewarded with blah 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 blah. I just need my morning beans. I can't get them. Damn it. I want coffee. I think I just need to leave. The Vespa. Oh yeah. Oh dude. That's so awesome. Oh this is the shit I love. I talked about it a lot the first time I played this game, so I'm not really going to talk about it 
in depth. You know what? Fuck it, I am. I love shit like this. I love stuff that's happening in the distance. I love the sense of scale. Space stations hanging up there that you can always kind of see. Meteors landing. Shit's dope. Ah! Whoa. What was that? See, this stuff. Video games need to do this shit more. I'm so absolutely sick and tired of static skyboxes in video games. It's fucking boring. Next generation is coming along. PS5, Xbox Series X. Start getting inventive and creative with shit like this. Unknown Worlds, you're doing great. I love you. Love this. Calling out Microsoft and Sony. No more of your boring ass skyboxes. You can make them as real looking as you want, but realism is boring if there's no interactivity. There, I fucking said it. I'll say it again. Just at a later time, not right now. What is this? But seriously, this is the stuff that's awesome. How many times do you play a game where the skybox is just clouds and sky? And even though it might look real, it's like, yeah, but make, make a few meteors or a dragon fly through it. Fucking awesome. This is a cool little pod. Maybe get into it and fly away, because uh, all hell's about to break loose and you're going to get stranded down here. How do I know that? I don't know, just some sort of, like, gamer sense that I have. Hi, butthole flower. <clears throat> I don't know how much of this stuff to keep in, either. Let's just... Let's just go through the game properly. If I just start cutting out things, then it's gonna get kind of annoying. Subnautic is awesome, and we should all appreciate it and play a lot of it. Go buy Subnautica right now! I'm approaching the research site. It looks like Jeff's GPS track is here, but no other sign of him. Understood. Be careful. Oh, be careful, mate. <laughs> Jog on, mate. Fucking do one, geezer. Jeff. Man. Jeff off. Jeff woke me up. Now Jeff is gone. Who am I speaking to? Your father. <laughs> I I already forget what I did in this game because I only played a few episodes of it and some of the updates. So now like all of this stuff is still brand new to me again. I'm going to appreciate it and experience it like a newborn baby lamb out in the ice for the first time again. <gasps> sweet beans. Yes, give me that sweet beans. I just had my sweet beans, my delicious cup of dirty bean water. You got to have it. Oh man, I got no cups. Just siphon it out of the pot. <laughs> oh, I got some. Yes. Drink your coffee. Oh yeah. Ooh, so what good. Fucking love it. It's Jeff awesome. But Sam, we woke something up. I spoke to it. Please, get to the escape ship. I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm on my way. Fucking bloody aliens, man. During their occupation of 4546B, the mysterious race of space-fearing aliens, we refer to as the Architects, selected a number of sites around the planet at which to build their vast facilities. 4546B is the planet from original Subnautica, right? We're on like a different part of it? Or before? For it? I can't remember. Um, sorry. I'll have to do a little homework next time. Well, the focus of their mission to save their kind from the bacterium was the Emperor specimen contained in the primary containment facility. Their other installations served a variety of precautionary and support roles. This is after original Subnog. Research Site Zero, unknown alien facility. While Zero Sector contains a number of now familiar alien sanctuaries, the alien facility in close proximity to the main research station remains one of the few whose purpose we have yet to discover. This will be the focus of our endeavors in Zero Sector. What we know? Frozen beneath the ice hundreds of years ago, the facility lays dormant to this day. We have progressed only through the first force field, gaining access to the antechamber, where a combination lock of a type we don't understand prevents further exploration. Whatever is inside, it is protected more thoroughly than anything else we have encountered. Wow. Maybe don't go poking town where humans are not wanted. Billions and billions of years ago, the universe was formed when... Wait a secaroo. I'll go that way. Should I just go back the way I came? Again, I forget everything. Shut up. 
I don't want to see any comments being like, Oh, Jack, you read this already. Jack, you did this already. You knew this already. No one gives a shit. All right. Sit back, have fun, enjoy Subnautica, because it's fucking dope, baby. Although lightning's gonna hit this. Oh, epic! It's not lightning anymore! It's a fucking meteor! That's even cooler! It's not just a regular storm anymore, it's meteors, baby! Love it. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, Unknown worlds! Oh. What? I'm not on that ship. Jeff! Still making for the base. That's my best shelter now. Okay, <laughs> oh, baby! Woohoo! This shit is tight! Oh my god, that's awesome! I am so glad we started the game from the beginning again. I don't even know if I would have been able to start it from my other save. This is so much cooler than all the lightning and shit from the first time. Oh, and is that going to break the ice? Oh, dip. Oh no, are you back at base yet? Uh, that's a negative. It's gone. Kinda. Sam. Holy shit! Woohoo! Breaky, breaky. Ow! Oh, no! It is no longer safe, and your PDA has rebooted in emergency mode. Be advised. Start here. Retreat to a safe environment. I don't need that. I'm Mr. Subnautica. I know what I'm doing. I was born in the oceans. You're all just visitors here. It's still kind of creepy though. The idea that you're running around normally above surface and then you're plunged into the icy cold waters of below. I would hate that. That would really ruin my day and upset my life. Man, this meteor storm is far and away better than just a lightning storm happening. Kudos and fair play. Hold on. I need to get some titanium. Hell yeah. Robin, come in. I copy. Oh my I'm god! And look up. I'm dropping you a life pod. Did everyone else get away? This is amazing! They're still counting heads. We haven't found Sam. Vespa. Do you read? Sam. Did you find heads? There's something floating in the air right there. What is that? Oh, so I should note that this game is still early access, so bugs abound and galore. Oh my god, my gamer senses are going wild right now. Also, the spaceship looks really cool now, and it's much lower. I was gonna say before I was rudely interrupted by the game, how dare it, <laughs> um, that Unknown Worlds don't get enough credit for their visual technology. Like, their particle system, the snow, their water system, the shadows that they were doing, I've talked about all this stuff before, but... It's really hard to make a game all about underwater stuff, and most games fail miserably at it. So, these guys are a okie dokie in my book. How you get into that without letting water in, I will never know. Acquired. Acquired. Well done for surviving the evacuation. Thanks. Statistically, that is the hard part. This life pod will help you survive until rescue. Oh, I can pin things. Fabricate food and tools, and refer to your PDA's databank for more information. Good luck. I've lost contact with the Vespa. I've been in tough situations before, so now there's no safety net. Best I could do for Sam is keep myself alive. All right, will do, mate. All right, what can I make? So if I pin things, does it like? Wait, let's let's try that. I want to pin a blueprint. Let's pin. What do I need? An O2 tank. Fucking beautiful! That is an incredible update. I could have done with that so much in original Subnautica. Did they? Did, did they even put that into the original Subnautica again? Oh my god, that's so much better. God damn. All right, so fiber mesh. 
is what we need. Look at that! That's- Oh, such a small little detail, and it's already fucking a hundred times better. Alright, let's go out and explode! The fuck? I thought the whole planet was on fire there for a second. It really looked like it. I mean, look at this. If that's not a planet on fire, I don't know what is. Alright, let's go looking for items. Man, it's hard to think that the first, what, 15 minutes of the game are already a hundred times better than what the original thing was. I mean, again, early access, it's always in development. But such a huge difference already. Adding so much more atmosphere. I love it. I miss Subnautica. I can't get creep vines. I need a knife. What do I need to get a knife? Silicone rubber. What do I need to get silicone rubber? Oxygen. <laughs> Oxygen. Don't die. You will die if you don't breathe. Ooh. Ooh. I don't need your emergency Johnny Cash. I have flippers. And I have... New creature Bloody fish! Wait. I can make a knife with creep- Oh, silicone rubber. Acquired. Acquired. Thank you. No problem. You're welcome. She's like my Alexa. Alexa! Be awesome. Actually, you can get New Alexa to rap for you. It's like a suggestion that comes up on the screen. So, if you're at home right now with an Alexa, say, Alexa, rap for me. Actually, you know what? Just turn me up. Oxygen. Alexa, rap for me. I should give you some sick beats. Some sick boots and cats and boots and cats. Butch. Got him. All right. Trying to make some food and some water. Kind of fuck shit up. You know, all of this surviving an apocalypse is making me thirsty. And hungry. I need to eat. <laughs> I just got you by the neck, dude. I'm so sorry, but also, eh, not really. Man's gotta eat. Alright, now we can make silicone rubber. If I'm the silicone rubber, I can make a noise. I love this update. Do you have any idea how many times I was going through original Subnautica? And just, I, I had to keep going back into my thing, being like, wait, how much do I need? Why, why did I need? Having this is a lifesaver. Oh, wait, I forgot to fucking eat, man. Okay, I should stop doing that accent, because it's going to get real annoying. And people who want to watch the episodes will be like, oh, God, I can't, because it's so annoying. All right, let's head to the supply cache. Oh, my God, darkness becomes me. Sam! Thank God, underwater is brighter than the surface. That, I don't understand how that would work. But I'm very glad that it's like that. Yes, it's a knife. Well done. New blueprint acquired. Thanks, Karen. Susie. What did I call you? <laughs> Every name under the sun, probably. <laughs> Only ten different names for everything. Except Sally, the sea moth. And Maria, my submarine. I forget what I call my little sea truck this time. Terry? I don't know. I'll come up with new names. Grab trap fragment. Ah, I need a scan A. Ooh! You guys are pretty! Oxygen. Oh god, I forgot that this has ice above the surface. Like, attached to the water. Oh, Titanic be damned! I'm gonna drown down here. I'm not going to be happy about it. It's really going to ruin my day. You know what I need? Some Titan hole fish. Swim through their holes. Get that oxygen. Slurp, slurp. <laughs> Can you tell I'm in a good mood playing Subnautica again? It's the best. Okay, pick up the PDA. Do this so it's available. Alright, I got the beacon. Mavis. 
almost kind of weird that the planets just disappear when you go underwater. Uh, what does this say? Carter status report. Deliveries continue to be delayed on this wretched planet. We don't have Amazon Prime yet, so it's really slow. Sea monkeys have yet again stolen cargo from the truck, running low on flares but will investigate nearby nests for stolen cargo. We'll update status on next delivery upon retrieval of cargo. Western dig site delayed, Northern Marine Research Station delayed. Good old Fred. Alright, what have we got in here, you man? What have we got in these tubs? Our first aid kit, nice, nice. Technology created. A compass! A flare. You guys said you were low on flares. New blueprint acquired. Sick. What are you? What do you want? Leave me alone. I'll stab you. I'm I'm new to these oceans. Get off! Get away! What are you? I know. I'll kill you! Come here! Yeah, you fight with the ball, you get the horns! Okay, yeah. You just think about what you did. I think they learned their lesson. A sea glide fragment. I need a scanner! Ah! I can go in here and be like, you know what? I want a scanner, so I'm gonna do that. And I, oh, I need a battery as well. Oh god, what do I need for a battery? Boom, baby! Ribbon plant, copper ore, your mama's ass! I got it all. Oxygen. You're not gonna be saying oxygen to me in a minute. Because I'm gonna craft me a big old badass heaping helping serving a Frex a Frex? A Frex oxygen tank. How much oxygen you got? A Fred oxygen tank of God of Manny's. Uh oh, it just goes straight in. Sick. Love it. Um, okay, so now I need a B8 to res, batteries, uh, so I can get rid of the tank. Okay. This part's a little annoying. I wish I could like hold alt and go up to the top right and have an X on the things. Maybe? Future update, maybe? Alright, I need ribbon plant! If I were a ribbon plant, where would I be? I would probably be down in a cave somewhere. I'd be just hiding out, trying to trying to live life, you know? There's some. I see some. I'm going to get some. Poof! And a uh, poof, poof, poof! <laughs> now I can make two batteries! Oh, it even says that! I, can, I have X2 batteries now. Nice! Good job, gamers. Developers. Really nice uh, UI update. That's that's really good. And now a scanner. A scanner for my manners. All right, I don't need these anymore. No, I already. Nope. <laughs> uh, all unpin all. Boom, baby. Excellent. All right, what else do I want to make though? What's next on my list? I need to go get Sea Glide Fragments. Probably need a repair tool as well. Repair tool doesn't seem super imperative right now though. I have nothing to repair. I need a Sea Glide Fragment. Badly. So let's head back this way. I should have left the beacon there. Should have left Mavis down where they belonged. Oh, Sea Glide Fragment nearby. A little Sea Glide. Where are all your fragments? Ah, oh, sea glade fragment number two. Just one left, man. I'm making excellent progress. What is down there? Kelp root. Oh, that looks like bad news bears down there. I don't want to go near that. I just want to stay up here and be a happy surface by Titan Hole Fish! I need you. I need you. Let me swim through your hole. Give me the air! You are the oxygen of my life! Oh! Sweet boy. Sweet, sweet titan hole fish. Ow! Son of a bitch! You got nasties all around you! I don't want to be your friend! Douche? Incoming transmission. Ooh! Origin. Alien sanctuary site. Twisty bridges. 
200 meters depth. Sick. Recorded to data bank. Nice. What are you? Ow! Oh, no, get away! Did he steal something from me? I will knife you! Okay. Uh, okay, let me read that at a different place where somebody's not trying to steal my toes. I will. I will seriously knife anybody that comes near me. Or anything that comes near me. I just need one more sea glide fragment. And then I can get a sea glide. Where are sea glide fragments? Huh? Where are you hiding the mummy? That's quartz. That's not a sea glide fragment. Hello? I'm talking to you, game. Excuse me. Whoa. What are this? Oxygen. God damn it. You always have problems. Uh-oh. 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 Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? I'm gonna make it, baby! I wanted to come around with, like, good news sometime. Like, your tax return has shown that you can have $42,000 back. You only paid ten. Something like that would be great. He stole my fucking scanner! I didn't even realize! What a dickhole! Get away from me! No! What did you take? You took my fucking knife! Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Give me back my knife. Give me back my knife. I will punch you to death if I have to. But you know what? No! You're just getting. You're getting the horns, baby! No, come back! No! I thought you wanted the knife! Don't you want the knife? There, I gave you the knife! You want it? Serves you right, you little asshole. Luckily, I have the materials to make another one already. So I'm not too upset. I mean, I was very upset. If I had to go get all that stuff again, oh man, I would have shook my fist at the screen so hard. Luckily, I didn't have to resort to such drastic measures. <gasps> sea Glide, baby, here we go. Yes! New blueprint acquired. Sea Glide! So I need a battery, some copper wire, and some lube. Sounds like all the ingredients for a fucking party. Oh, baby. Oh, buddy. Oh. Okay. Oh, Bokaroo! Sea Glide! Yes! God, it's gonna be so much nicer to go around now. Ah, uh, no, that's a flare. I want my knife in there. Thank you. Um, and now I can go in here and unpin all. Oh, look how nice! Oh no, you can toggle the map and the light separately! I love you, developers! You're the best! Tiny little tweaks that go so far and are very much appreciated and noticed. Don't think I didn't notice, you cuties. You developer cuties out there, making the game better and more enjoyable for us gamers. Stop. Alright, where was this? Let me get up to where oxygen is. Even though I don't like the idea of my feet dangling in the water as I read. Harry should not go back to Hogwarts. Sanctuary Zero was discovered some months ago. Operating on low power, all attempts to access the facility have failed. It is located in the so-called Twisty Bridges, an area dense with macro flora reaching 100 to 300 meters in depth. The fast growing, the fast growth of the tubular, super awesome like organic bridges throughout the area prevents a permanent route to the facility from being established. It can be located at a depth of 200 meters and contractors are advised to use visual reference to locate a viable path. The alien architects constructed multiple sanctuary facilities around 4546B. Their purpose was to store and preserve the aliens' mental states for later retrieval in case of emergency. Huh. While many individuals fled uh, to these sanctuaries when the Kara contagion was released, most succumbed before they could reach one. 
one of those sanctuaries, or of those sanctuaries we have gained access to, none have contained a viable alien consciousness, and it is further unclear what sense could be made of the data if they had. We nonetheless have our best people working on it. Oh yeah, because we find a, an alien dude and he like talks inside our head, doesn't he? Um, so we have to go towards twisty bridges, organic bridges throughout the area, prevents permanent route to the facility, 200 meters. Okay. It's somewhere over here, isn't it? Like these are the twisty bridges? I think so. Ooh, you're cool. Look at this. An arctic ray. It's nice to meet you, Ray. My name's Sean. Fast moving ray species, well adapted to low temperature environments. Two sets of wing like fins enable the ray to quickly change directions and accelerate. Like other rays, it's exclusively herbivorous. Boosh! Having some stuff in the environment that gives you oxygen is a really nice. I... Okay, thank oxygen you. Efficiency cool. Doperific. Love it. Um. Having stuff that gives you oxygen in the environment is a really great way to just, like, keep the game going. What's up, Shark Boy? Where's Lava Girl? Okay! I'm sorry! I know it's a sensitive subject! Christ. Like, now I can just stay down here rather than having to go down, peek a little, and then go back. Like, I can just keep getting oxygen. It's really nice. I'm seeing twisty bridges, and I'm about 200 meters down. When can I get my basey base? Ooh. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Gotcha. Still on my tail. The old question, how much risk is uh, okay? I don't have time to read. I'm dying out here. Whoa. I don't think I'm supposed to be down here. No uh Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, 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 no, bad, bad. Ooh, super stinky down here. This is bad. Okay, the music is freaking me out even more. Heading back. Stop! Can you just give me, like, a base? Like the alien compound type of thing? That'd be pretty cool. Approaching alien sanctuary. Yes. Altera requests you take care not to damage the artifacts. Ah, shut up. I'll damage whatever I want. I need to get this first. 30 seconds. I'm damaging my own lungs by not feeding them. That's sweet. Oh, too. Is this where the alien sanctuary is? You said I was approaching it, and I didn't see it. Am I a blindo? 30 seconds. <laughs> I still got it, baby. Got that sweet cave salt for two. All right, I lost where, where I was going. I lost it. Guys, I lost. I'm a ninkandoof. I also just like exploring. This is cool. Classic Subnautica. This is where I went before. Don't want to go down there again. That was scary and my toes curled up and my asshole clenched. I would rather go this way, where gumdrops and fairies live. Here we go. This is a good sign. Y'all got any more of that sweet O2 around? Could do with it. Kind of getting a little low. Kind of suffocating and drowning. Thank you. Can I scan any of this? 30 seconds. Oh, 30 seconds this, oxygen that, you're gonna die. Give me some good news, like, the winning lotto numbers were yours. Passing 200 meters. This looks very oxygen promising. Efficiency greatly decreased. Shoop. And the fabric of reality was broken then. Sanctuary power critical. Searching for emergency storage medium. <laughs> Hello? It's me, Robin! I've come all the way from England! You're a cool little bobot. The device of alien origin, although its design is relatively simple. Purpose, its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. 
Design. Despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant in its minimalism. Four electromagnetic legs allow it to traverse floors, walls, and ceilings with reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. I love that you just see it flying around as I'm reading it. Internally, there are few moving parts, rendering its this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. A rechargeable ion, blah blah blah. You're cool, we get it. Stop showing off. Lead the way, little friend. See you later, little friend. Human, turn back. Why? You were sent here to harness me. I will destroy you first. You're not sure of my intentions. Are you afraid? I am all powerful. <laughs> I came here because I'm curious about your people. It sounds like you're in trouble. My storage medium is failing. You're dying. I am considering my options. <laughs> storage medium found. What does that mean? Storage capacity was identified on your person. Where? On my PDA? Nope. Hello? In your brain. Inside your brain. You're going to get an alien in there. Oh, so cool. This is where you're stored, isn't it? I love this game. Presently, yes. A digital backup to save you in case of disaster. It has worked until now. My data can be downloaded from the terminal. Is that what you'd like? I have hours to live. I may not like it now, but I will appreciate it later. <laughs> I'm taking that as a yes. Luckily, I am here. God, that's so cool. The visual design is amazing. I hope this works. Come on in, alien buddy boy! Get inside my brain! Storage media accepted. Wait, what? <laughs> Data transfer. Wow, credits. Subnautica Below Zero was amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I feel a little woozy here. Uh, what happened? Transfer complete. Download capacity was identified in your cerebral cortex. You're in my head. I am also surprised. <laughs> Is it reversible? I hope so. <laughs> Sanctuary power failed. But not from here. Damn it. I will find a way. With the processing power available, it may take some time. I will alert you when I exit hibernation. This is exactly why we have protocols. <laughs> This is exactly why we have protocols and don't go wandering into alien facilities and talk to the alien and then present ourselves to be downloaded upon. Ah, silly silly. <laughs> but at least now I have a voice inside my head that can keep me company and I don't get scared all the time. That's nice. I like that. It's kind of like real life. Did you re- uh, there's a thing going around on Twitter recently with people talking about like the voice inside their head and like their inner monologues. And some people are saying that they do not have a voice inside their head that articulates thoughts to them. Like they don't go through conversations in their head and verbally say them. There's no voice saying that to them. And that baffled me. Are there any people watching this right now who are like that? Because I, my brain never shuts the fuck up. It's constantly talking. I verbalize everything inside my own brain and I go over conversations and sometimes it really messes me up and I swear there's something wrong with my head. But some people apparently don't have that. They don't imagine, they don't create, they don't verbalize anything in their head. They just think in like... Passing 200 meters. They just think in like... Oxygen stasis points, I guess? I don't know how to explain it. Because I can't do it. But some people can sit in perfect silence and their brains think about nothing. And that to me is so bizarre. Because my brain never shuts up and sometimes it stops me from being able to sleep. It must be so nice to have your brain to be able to just stop. And be able to sleep and just sit in silence and quiet. You hear that, brain? Shut the fuck up. Ooh, another upgrade. What is this? New technology acquired. A rebreather. Yes, that's what I need. The rebreather is the thing that helps you 
uh, consume oxygen better at deeper depths. Which is exactly what I needed for right here. And they did get the deep down update in this, so the deep down, dark, deep down might be a possibility again. Oxygen. I know, I'm trying not to die. You think it's preferable? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, I did it. Man! It sucks up here! You know what? Ah, much more peaceful. Oh, it's so nice and warm and cozy down here. Wait, let's see if it changed. Nope, still horrible death all around. Time to move on. Don't be alarmed. Oh. I'm still processing our situation. Hi. Some memory data was lost in the download process. Great. Yours or mine? I cannot recall. <laughs> I will hibernate. Wait, what's your name? We do not use words that way. Mm. I had a pet barwall once. I called him Ketchup. Don't make me name you two. You may append your seed code to the species designation. You may call me Al Alan. <laughs> I waited my whole life to meet a spacefaring alien. You're telling me your name is Alan? <laughs> is it insufficient? No. No, Al Ann. It's perfect. I will alert you when I have more information. It's definitely insufficient. It's very lame and disappointing. You might as well have said that your name was Al Ian. Alien. <laughs> uh, Alright, so what next? I wonder if the same rocket base is over in the same area. Don't you dare come near me, sea monkey. I will punch you until you feel like you're a person losing emotions. I- and I mean it. What are that? Is that a Minecraft? Oh, 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 oh. No! Oh, run away! Jesus Christ! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where I was trying to go. I want to scan one of you, though. You're fucking terrifying. Oh! Ah! I'd me too. Okay, do that. Ah, there's no information. I'm goddamn it. I got bitten for nothing. Fuck! Get out! Get out! How do I get out? Eh, go, 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 go! Oh. Oh, God! Fuck that thing! Crypto suck ass! Cool! That's what your name is from now on. Ooh, the island is back. Nice. A spooky. Oh, give it that. Okay. Up here is the another base area and like a launch pad that I can send information back. If mine brain been remembering good, Lee. Oh, thank God. Out of the mist and into the piss. <laughs> Oof. That's very jagged looking. Hello? 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 Is there anybody alive out there? Out there? Out there? Just make it up my own fun. Ooh, very nice. Geological log number three. Finding adequate geological samples has been exceptionally easy with this new modified scanner tool. With this new research pace, finding the origins of this island's formation should take no time. What? Mineral detector? Wow. Is that like a scanner room in... in small form? The scanner room would let you detect where certain items were, certain resources. It would be so cool if we had a whole... like, portable version of that so I can just go around and be like, I need limestone, and then it's like, yeah, go here. Wow. This game's pretty. Pretty awesome! Alright, in we go, wait. Habitat Builder. Ooh! 
Yes! A bead hat builder. I love that. I want one. I have I have it. I don't need one. Scan this. Uh, you're a fabricator. I don't need you. A jukebox. <gasps> I can be scared and alone, but the music and the rhythm will finally get to me and keep me company. Me and Alan can dance and become lovers. Like Joaquin Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson in the hit movie Her. Where he fell in love with a robot and then got sad. <laughs> Which is actually a really great movie, and you should really watch it. Cool, a poster. That's the thing I need. <gasps> yes! Damn, I'm getting a ton of really great things. Modification station is awesome. It helps upgrade all your basic items. And a single wall shelf! It helps store all of your basic items. Like my figurines of Batman. Okay, scan the bed. Actually, let's use the bed. It's nighttime outside. Nighttime is shy time. I'm not going out there unless I'm guaranteed that it's going to be sunny and I can see where I'm going. Oh, you look like you broke your wrist trying to do that. Um, do I need you? Sure, why not? We can spice things up a bit. I should just make this my main base though. If I can get the stuff for solar panels. Um, see, this menu, I'd, I would also like tabs up here to be like resources, electronics, or something, just to figure it out a bit easier. Right now, I'm plowing through everything, and it's kind of confusing. I have enough to build. And build I shall! Let's build a... How do I use this again? Oh. Oh. Oh, I need a battery. Oh. I don't have a battery. Well, I can do this. Take out that, and then put it in this. So now, at least I can build a solar panel and get power back in here. Why not? That looks like as good a place as any. Elon Musk will be so proud. Ha, ah, power? I, I guess not. Ooh, deconstruct. <gasps> yeah. Get the items. Hell yeah. Deconstruct everything. That's really useful. Why didn't it get power? With the solar panels on it. What? Why do you not have power? There's a I looked at a solar panel as I put a solar panel on it. What is wrong with me? I was like, yeah, that's a good place to put a solar panel. There's literally one right behind it. I don't know why you're not getting power then. Oh my god, this hail is insane. <laughs> Let's just get up here first. Ah, shit, do I need a repair tool? Damn it, I was gonna make one last time as well, because I was so close to... Like, I had the items for it. Shit. I don't want to have to go all the way back and then come back here again. That would be annoying. No signal. Yeah, because this is broken. Gosh ding dang. It would be great if the, the thingy worked. The power on this. Because I have a fabricator in there. Ooh. Special room. Separate from everybody else. Can't go in though. I don't know why. Can I scan any of you? Ooh. Observatory. There we go. Jesus. That took a long time. Wait, am I just misremembering something? Do I need some sort of like power? Module? Power transmitter. Yeah, like, do I need an actual reactor or an engine of sorts? Oh, jukebox speakers, that's cool. I 
didn't think I did. I thought I was just able to- Oh, I'm freezing. I thought I was just able to put solar panels on things and it worked. Uh, I don't know where I am. Where's the water? This is so scary. I can't see anything. Ah, much better. Ah, much clearer. Well, great. Lovely. Let's not go back there for uh, a bit. I'm gonna go back here and build a repair tool and everything because I, I just can't seem to get that other base to actually get power in it. I don't know if it's something that I'm missing or something that's just broken or what, but whatever. Yay! Sea truck fragments! Also, I need to start using some stuff in my inventory. I'm getting rid of some stuff. There we go. I have a ton of titanium, copper, quartz, some gold, copper, sulfate. I can get rid of the ribbon plants because I can get it near my base. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God! Oh, that was close. I almost messed it up trying to figure out batteries and these things. Jesus. That would have been really bad. Okay. There's a bunch of sea truck fragments around here, so I can just get these while I'm down here. Making some decent progress. Now that I kind of know where some things are, that was a really great benefit when I played the final version of regular Subnautica. Oh god. Where, where, where is he coming from? They're terrifying sounding. Sounds like a T-Rex coming after me. There he is. Okay, leave me alone. I'm a nice boy. I mean you no harm. I just want to get the things and get the fuck out of here. Wow. The lightning storms at nighttime are really cool. That's awesome. I love that. I kept hearing explosions all around me and I was wondering what it was. Okay, I should be able to make a uh, battery, yes. But what was the main thing that I'm trying to build right now? I got the repair tool. Oh yeah, the mineral detector. This is really interesting. What does it do? Okay. Yeah, I can actually just search limestone chunks, fragments, outcrops, titanium, root, pustule. That's a really great addition. I guess because people playing the game were kind of lost as to where to find stuff. So you need to add a new thing to just get some items. Wait, I need ribbon. Is that on this? I don't think so. Man, this thing runs out of power very quickly. This little dude? Ooh. Fragment? Oh, it says it's searching. Ah, so there isn't a fragment nearby. He's just searching for one. Got it. Um, actually, I might take the battery. Ah, God, my fingers are dumb. I'll take the battery out of that and then put the repair tool here. Oh wait, that comes with a battery. Nice! Okay, hold on. Don't start killing me yet. I oh, just got here. I also went in a complete roundabout way to get up here. How did I manage that? That wasn't the way I came in the first time, was it? Who knows how a Jacksepticeye brain works? I'm not at all in the same place. Jesus! I'm sorry, Zeus! I don't know what I did, but you're mad at me for some reason. Alright, this is the way to be. Once I go up and repair this, then I can start sending off info to the station. And the rockets get sent off. I don't think I can add power to this place, because I think it's just the game's way of being like, No, you can't use the base we already made. Oh, this thing actually moves in the sky now. That's cool. Required components, shipwreck salvage, and advanced wiring kit. What? I can't just repair it? Shipwreck salvage? Okay. Oh, man, that's annoying. 
Uh, advanced wiring kit. Do I need to build a normal wiring kit first? I can build a seed truck now, though. What the hell? Advanced wiring kit. Computer chip and a wiring kit. So I need wiring kit and a computer chip. Table coral, copper wire, silver. <sighs> I think I have that stuff back at the other base again. I went all the way back to get the repair tool just to come all the way back here just to tell me that I need to go all the way back again. Fuck me. That's frustrating. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, my glankles. Shipwreck salvage, though. Where the hell am I going to get that? Are we just somewhere random in the ocean? Can this dude find it? No. He can find silver though, so that's nice. Uh oh. Ah! I'm dying! There's no faster way to get down than jumping and leaping and breaking your ankles. Alright, well I'm gonna leave this first episode again of Subnautica Below Zero here because it seems like we have more to do than I thought. I thought I was just gonna go back, repair that thing, it would build it up and then I would send off a pulse or whatever. But I need a lot more to do. But man, does it feel good to be back in this game. It feels like home. It feels like something that I know is gonna be fun and cozy and warm. It's like getting a big video game hug from a very large individual. <laughs> but Thank you guys for watching it, I hope that you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on the video because it helps out a lot and lets me know what you guys are interested in. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of Subnautica Below Zero because I'll be uploading it and then you'll be informed whenever the episodes come out. But until then, I'm going to wave you a watery farewell. <laughs>